I've seen it before, but I didn't mind it. Hey guys, so this was episode 17 of Supernatural Season 11. Wow, holy crap. We've got six episodes left now, and despite how good the build-up was for this episode, it had nothing to do story-wise. So yeah, let's get that out of the way with first. This was a filler episode. Mind you, it was a good filler episode. It was a filler episode about filler stuff that we've seen in other filler episodes before, but it was still a good filler episode. This episode, the whole idea was the just talking about the idea that these brothers don't get a second chance at life. And the episode actually started straight out with Sam getting shot. Now, you may say that's, whoa, that's a bit of a spoiler but literally, that's how the episode started. I honestly thought that this episode was going to take a much different narrative route. I thought that was going to be like a middle marker, but I guess because they had just played it up so much and the ads were like, well, we got to start the episode with it. Admittedly, the first five minutes of it is a little bit odd narrative-wise because right after you see Sam and Dean fight these werewolves and then Sam gets shot, we cut back to them going to the case and then we cut back to them kind of dealing with Sam getting shot, then we cut back to them going to the area, then we cut back to them again, then we cut back. It's a weird, like the first seven minutes are narratively choice-wise are not the best, but for the entirety of the episode it makes sense because what we see is a moment in which Dean has to make a choice that doesn't involve his brother anymore because these people's lives, who he has to save, are of precedence over Sam's and this episode is actually really good, because we see the brothers at their shit's end, especially Sam. Sam goes through a lot of shit in this episode, and he's... Yeah, he, 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 he sees some, some dark corners. And for Dean, too, we actually see... The episode has multiple storylines going on, and they're all about sort of the same thing. Admittedly, there's no villain of this episode. There is kind of a villain, the Mysterious Beard. Man, I, I just call him Mysterious Beard Man but he's one of the people who they help, who has a little bit of a secret about himself. The additional characters in this episode are completely pointless, and it, you have seen these characters a million times before. So don't get too hung up on the characters. Admittedly, they do try a few maybe different things with these characters, but again, you've seen them before. It's literally just version point fifty seven at this point. But it doesn't really detract from the episode because the brothers, they actually have some really cool moments. Sam, especially. Sam has a moment that I'm just like, good job, dude. Um, however, Dean does something because there's a lack of information between the two characters, the two brothers, and Dean does something that's not exactly the smartest of ideas, and the problem is, as cool as that was, like, whoa, it's kind of like a Romeo and Juliet thing, sort of, but the problem is, the dialogue between him and the person who he talks to is, again, you've seen it before. However, as much as I keep saying that, I did enjoy this episode. I actually thought the action was pretty intense, I liked how it started. About 10 minutes through later, I liked it. At first, I was like, why are you doing it this way? But then, admittedly, I did enjoy the car the choices they were using. And while this episode had all these f moments in the freaking trailer, like the, the then, like the build-up, had all these moments of, whoa, it's going to be a super awesome story episode. Totally wasn't. The next one's going to be. But, admittedly, the last few episodes have been very fillerish. I, I do want this to end. I want to go, us to go back to story. I want to have that consistency, which is what I was really enjoying with the first season. So, in this episode, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 7. Um, it's a very standard episode. There are some cool moments in it, but however, everything else is very lacking. It is literally just what happens between the brothers, which is cool. Had this been a story episode, and they used that same element in the story episode, that would have been made it even better. But, however, this is just a filler episode, so... And the fact that this show got uh, renewed for season 12... It takes all attention out of the season, honestly. Please, let it be that the last one! Okay? Anyway, guys, that's all from me. I'll see you next episode.